It is tough to practice social distancing on a bus, especially now as ridership is increasing. KPIX 5's Kenny Choi is looking into safety questions. Kenny? Elizabeth, uh, the SFMTA uh, says that uh, ridership plummeted when the pandemic started. It is picking back up and it's monitoring these bus lines very closely. But bus riders and bus drivers say that it is still way too overcrowded. Earlier today, we went for a look for ourselves and went for a ride. You must wear a mask to board. In the heart of the mission, one sector of San Francisco that's been a hot spot of COVID-19 transmission, the buses are packed. It's always crowded. With my KN95 mask, I hopped on board to see what it's like. Yeah, it's the 14th, right? This yeah. line never sleeps. From the front to middle and all the way to the back of the bus, it was impossible to find six feet of space. One SFMTA operator who didn't want to show his face, fearing for his job, describing what it's like on a shift every day. We try to keep uh, our distance as far as uh, not having nobody near us. The rest of the people is not safe because they're riding so close to each other. 37 operators have tested positive for COVID-19 so far. SFMTA has implemented safety protocols like cleaning its buses at least once per shift and limiting buses depending on size to 20 to 30 riders. We are watching our ridership more closely than ever um, so that we can add service where it's needed. But operators say the limiting of passengers is not working. Perfect, because a lot of passengers that will run to the bus, and when they see the doors open, they will just get in. As essential workers uh, continue to need to get around and as businesses do start to open, we're gonna need to provide more capacities. <laughs> SFMTA allows drivers the option to bypass stops if there are too many people already on board and to drop off passengers ahead of a crowded stop. But the union representing the bus operators believes the city isn't doing its job well. Maybe a C minus or a D plus because there's more that can be done and there's more that should be done. Yeah, I couldn't help but notice a couple of people came off the bus and they were not wearing their masks, Kenny. I noticed you also spoke to a union representative. What's the union asking or recommending of SFMTA? So one thing that the union wants is they want more bus service so they can ease the congestion on those lines. They also want the SFMTA to start expedi expediting the return and the start of light rail vehicles on the surface. SFMTA is aware of this issue. They tried to uh, restart it back in August. They ran into some issues, but they say that in the coming months, maybe before the end of the year, we could see the return of light rail vehicles on the surface. All right, Kenny, thank you.